everybody. Hello. When it says hello too. <laughs> well, I guess it's a welcome back for me. You guys have been blessed with Angie here lately doing all the videos. I don't know if I'd call it that. I've been MIA. She did not. She did not, you know, do away with me. She didn't. I explained she didn't, uh, it sort of. Put a hit out on me. She didn't, you know, anything of the such. I just been MIA. Well, you want to tell them why? I got a new. Uh, I got a new job. It's terrible. And uh, we hate it. This new job puts me working night shift, and uh, of course, it's nighttime. This is when we normally get to do our videos is during the evening. So. She's had more time during the day, so she's been doing them, and I've just been sleeping during the day, so. And working at night, so. And working at night, But so. he's off tonight. It's so been kind of rough. squeeze one in. But we're working on it, so. And hopefully, he'll be done with this job very soon. Hopefully. But tonight, today, whenever you may be watching this, she has a very first-time review on something that she has never done a review on. That many have asked for. That she has never even done a review on the subject matter. You have never, ever done a review on anything like this. Never. But. Without further ado, let's let her take it away. It's not the cat. <laughs> you yeah, have to get down now, mister. Now I'm covered in hair. Go figure. Black pants, white cat. Problems. Okay. So, a while back, how long ago was it that you bought me these? <laughs> like months. Months and uh, months ago. I don't remember. Well, I wore them to an outdoor concert this past summer. So, it's been at least six months. Has it been that long? Since you bought them for me. So, yeah. So or more. For all of you that are new to our channel, when Angie goes and reviews these things, if she hasn't used it, she will tell you in the video that she hasn't. But if she has... Just like this situation right here. She's used them for quite some time. And I try to use something at least for a little while before reviewing it so that I can give you a full honest review. Um, but it is from Bed Stew, which is a brand that you guys know that we really love. And this is the first pair of shoes from them that we have brought into this house. And he bought them for me. And this is the box they came in. It's very nice, very sturdy box. They're really nice boxes. So I haven't got rid of it yet because I actually I like the box. And um, I have, if you've seen my previous videos on the Aerial Tote and the Rockaway bag, it is the Starry Night pattern or colorway, and that's what these boots are. So we're going to show them to you. And there's mud on the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So this is the Xena. Is that what they're called? I think. Oh, come on. Where's the thing? Yeah, Xena. These Not are the, the Warrior Princess. Xena boot. boots. And yes, there's some mud here, but... Hey, 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 <laughs> hey! I do wear them. So they're in the Starry Night colorway, so it's like a dark gray here and like a um, grayish, topish Tope. color. And then like a reddish brown towards the end. And, boy, they smell good like an ox blood i ain't smelled it your feet no, it smells been like leather uh -uh, still get up out of here Snake. nope and they you should have been able to they, smell it when i opened the box they do smell like leather i just so, like a hard time and here's the other yeah, one they're exactly the same obviously all right so each one just like the bags are hand dyed and so you can see like the color placement is roughly in the same area <laughs> but <laughs> not exactly the same from one shoe to the other because they are hand done, hand dyed, and everything is unique. So um, we'll give you a tour of like the shoe itself and then we'll talk about the leather and how they feel and all of that. What? A tour of the shoe. Well, I mean, it's got features, man. <laughs> features. <laughs> so it has a zip on the inside, which makes it nice to put on and off you don't have to untie the laces on the back every time and the inside is full leather um lining and then the part your foot actually sits on is also leather do you remember what the soles are made of didn't you do some research about that oh i did isn't but there I don't some remember. cork in there and some other stuff yeah i believe the bedding of the shoe is cork and there is of course the leather 
uh, covers that. Mm. But I'm pretty sure the bedding was court. And the entire bottom of the shoe where your foot rides, the entire thing is leather. Um, there's some companies that I've seen that like the back half where your heel sits on mm. will be leather no, this and whole it'll thing. be cut off and it'll be like a fabric. Thing. This is leather all the way through, but it does have a cork bedding and something else. And all of their boots are Goodyear welted. I'm sorry that the bottom is dirty, but Man, <coughs> I wore them. The mud so if you can see the stitching here, let me bring it up here and show you. Ooh, there we go. Maybe let me show you this side. That's better. So you can see the stitching right here. It's yeah, focusing on him instead of the shoe. So sorry about that. But the soles are sewn on with a Goodyear welt, which means that if the sole ever, ever wears out, it can actually be replaced and your shoe can be saved. So while I've got you here, we'll just give you a closer up view of the colorway here. It's very, very pretty. And on the back, it has this lace detail, which, I mean, it's operable, the laces. They're not just like stuck on there for decoration. You can loosen and tighten them, but it really doesn't affect the fit of the shoe that much. Uh, I just tightened them as far as I could get them while I had them on and then tied it in a double knot so it would stay. But it's just a really cool, really pretty feature, I think. And I'll show you the inside, what he was talking about in here. So you can see that the footbed is leather and stamped with the brand name. And you can't see it all the way down in the bottom, but it is the full leather all the way down. And then the inside lining is nothing but leather also, which is wonderful. All right, now that you've seen just my hands and the shoe up close. <laughs> and and uh, with that, of course you guys know that I'm pretty particular about the leather quality. Uh, etc you know the craftsmanship you see these muddy Sorry. nightmares that haven't been cleaned I and use taken them. care of i use okay, them okay well i'm i'm using this as a point <laughs> i'm using this as a point take it out. you guys can zoom in and see the leather you don't have there's no discoloration here there's no uh, water spots along this i do leather. have a nick mark right here in this one but I ran into I'm something. I'm talking about water intrusion. But yeah, and I haven't like treated on, these or like anything. Like on your purses, you, yeah. you get water spots or something like that. There, there's none of that on here, and that just another thing that goes to show the quality of the leather that they have on these shoes. And I mean, you just you still can't beat it. I haven't seen anything that's as nice as these. And they smell so good and you've had them for quite some time I mean, and they do still have that nice leather yeah smell i've used them. them a lot and they smell brand new and they look of course i i didn't feel them when it was right out of the box but they look like they're a lot softer now they are the more i wear them the softer they get something i just noticed on the back here on the heel part there's a stamp with the size but it says cobbler so i guess it's they have a a series called the cobbler series i'm not entirely sure what that means so beds do um, when you watch this video please comment and let us know exactly what that means because i don't know um, but it does have a stamp here that says 100 percent organic vegetable tanned leather inside and out artisan crafted in north america's in north america's leon mexico so yeah anyway that's stamped into the leather back there but yeah, the more I, I, I mean, at first, when I first put them on, they were a little snug, like right through here, but not too bad, just stiff, I guess you could say. But the more I wear them, the softer the leather gets, the more it conforms to the shape of your foot and just starts to feel like it's really made specifically for you. And they're just wonderful. I have no complaints. And every single time I wear these, especially to my office, my coworker, um, Kim, she just goes berserk over them. She's like, those are such beautiful shoes. I love those boots. And then she points them out to everybody else. Look at her shoes. So, yeah, they're just great. And is this the second pair I got you? Yes, because we sizing. ordered an 8, because I typically wear an 8 in most brands. But Beds 2 sizing is a little strange. And so we ordered a nine then because the eights were way too small. Or it was an eight and a half. Eight or an eight and a half. I don't remember. But it was too small. And I think so, I got you an eight and a half and it was too small. Yeah. So we got this nine and they fit perfectly. And I've never really worn a nine and stuff much. So 
they're, they do run a little bit small. Now we do have two pairs of sandals that I'll try to show you before the end of this video just to kind of tease you with them um, that he had ordered for me that the sizing is even different with those than they are with these. So it's kind of like a trial and error versus, you know, for the, from style to style and you're just gonna have to figure out by buying it and sending it back. <laughs> on, that, on that note, I have had zero issues with bed stew on any kind of exchange yeah. I have, of course, she's tried them on. I have immediately messaged them, uh, said, hey, you know, can we exchange them for a separate size? I'll submit that. They'll approve it. They'll send me uh, the approval back via email, send it out in the mail. They'll get it. They'll process it as long as everything's good. And they'll send another one out. I have had zero problems. It has Because we've had to do two exchanges. Yeah, we've had to do two With exchanges two for sizes. Issues. And it has been flawless. They have been absolutely on point. And I mean, I've had I've had no complaints with their exchange policy. So if you mm. don't be worried if you go to get something and it's not your size, you're not going to get the runaround with them. They are to the point. They are very prompt. And they'll get you taken care of as long as you hold up you're into the deal and everything is the way they said, the way you say it and is. And the turnaround time from the time we sent back the size that didn't work to the time we got the new size was about a week. I'd and say. that's going to vary for everybody. Yeah, but both times with these and the sandals, it was about a weekish. Yeah, but each people time. that live on the West Coast. Yeah, it's going to be a little longer Texas, probably because these come from Texas. Or, yeah. It'd yeah, be that might be them, shorter but. for you, but we're on the East Coast. We're in West Virginia, so. You know, we've got to go across the United States. So your times may vary compared to in exchange than what ours did. But ours did take about a week to go across the United States. So still at that, I'm not going. There's no issues with that at all. So should I get one of the bags that these match and show them, like, shoes versus the bag, how they line well, I mean, up? That's fine. Do whatever you I'll want. just grab the aerial real quick, real quick because it's it. empty. Sorry, yeah, I'll the, be right back, I guys. Mean, uh, as far as construction and and how well these boots are made, I boy, I'd have to give them, you know, an 11 out of 10, you know, if you're going to scale it out because they they are a good build quality. Um, they've used high quality materials. I mean, there's no she's used them. She's got these wet. There's no picking in the threads. There's no looseness in the threads. Uh, there's no water spots or any kind of staining or anything like that. She's really abused these, as you can tell, with the mud. But, uh, man, they're just great. So if you guys get a chance and you want to pick up a set of these or anything else as far as that's concerned. And they do still make this style, and they come in other colors as well, I think. Or they did But at definitely one point don't time. question it when it comes to Bed Stew products because they are great. I have a pair of Birkenstock boots that I thought I really liked until I got these. I mean, they're not the same style of boot. My Birkenstock is a Chelsea boot style, flat heel. Um, and I thought I really liked that brand until I got these and I probably will never buy Birkenstock boots ever again. That's how much the buds do are better. Okay, so here is my aerial tote in the same Starry Night configuration. Um, so I just wanted to show you how closely they match and how great they look together. Um, so even though each shoe was individually hand dyed and this was individually hand dyed. I mean, it's still consistent as far as, you know, where the, each color lies and the tone of each color. So they look really great together, especially when I put it all together in one outfit. I think it looks awesome. She yeah. just had to have all this stuff. So in I just wanted to show way. you that. Yeah, I mean, it's probably my favorite one so far. <laughs> so I wanted to show you that. All right. Yeah, you can have these because so, I don't want to carry them dirty things anymore. Anything else do you think we should say about these before we tease them with the sandals? Um, really, like I said, the I'm, more you wear them, the better they get. I mean, don't be... when it, Anything that we have gotten from them so far, I wouldn't second, question, I wouldn't second guess our purchasing... Uh, you know, the, I wouldn't second guess it at all. I would... At any point in time, go back to them for anything else that we need. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. I uh, ending with the shoes. I bought my son a uh, Dior wallet or a, a card case from them, and 
it went for his birthday and I only got to look at it for maybe a second, you know, before we shipped it right back out to him for his birthday. Cause it was, I was running behind, you know, dad running behind every once in a while mm. and even the wallet, which I hope to get into some wallets. I hope to be able to, to do some review on some men's stuff. And if that's something you're interested in for maybe your husband, let me know, put it in the comments and we'll see if we can review some men's stuff for him. Yeah. I mean, we'd like to try the men's shoes too, but he's got such a rugged taste in shoes, I guess, to say that they don't really, we've looked through all their men's shoes and they don't really make something that is really his style yet. I don't so, know. They got a couple tactical boots that's yeah, pretty nice. Maybe down the road if he finds one he likes well enough. But I've been so happy with these and it's one of my favorite pairs of shoes to wear. The only thing that is... I guess a negative, but it's not about the shoe, it's about me, is that I do have heel spurs, and so to wear anything with a heel on it anymore kind of hurts for a long period of time, but that's not the shoe, that's my foot. <laughs> so I don't wear them when I'm going to be walking like all day long just because of that, but otherwise they're fantastic. So I'm going to put these back in the box, and we will give you a teaser of the sandals that he bought for me that I have not worn, and I won't be because yeah, they, yet. Got, they ain't been in the mud yet. Because it's winter, and it's cold, and gross, and stuff like that, so the reviews on these sandals will not be coming out until summer once I've had a chance to actually wear them. Wait till she dives them in the mud two or three times. And I don't wear sandals in the mud. <laughs> you. You can be out playing right. in muddy puddles. So the boxes <laughs> that they came in are equally nice as far as thickness of the cardboard. And like, it's a really heavy duty box. Um, and they've all got this little rubber band thing. The elastic band's nice. On them that the holds on. the lid on. Yeah, that's nice. I didn't forget which one these are. Okay. These are beautiful. I'm only going to pull out one. Since this is just a teaser. This is called... Sabine and these I had to get in a size 9 just like the boots the other ones are not that so here we go that's what these look like this is a pine sole they say they make their soles out of Chilean pine which is like reclaimed pine from forest floors or something like that so they're all um, sustainable and whatnot and then sustainably sourced. the leather straps and then the whole footbed is leather i mean and this teal is just beautiful and the little flower details on the sides flower detail on the top it's wonderful and for reference to the boots this footbed that you see right here looks the same in those boots yeah this is a little more squishy than the one in the boots what is that because you have not warm and it hasn't formed to your foot? No, I, there's no cork in this like there is in the boots, I don't think. It's a different type of well, footbed. I there was cork in that one too. But I don't know. But yeah, it's leather just like that. But man, they're so pretty. And then it's red leather on the inside. So yeah, very, that very was pretty. what? Uh, dark teal rustic? Yeah. Gorgeous color. So I can't wait to wear those this summer. All right. So that's teaser number one. To be continued. Next. Unless you don't want to see it. You gotta let us know. Leave us a comment. Do you want to see the reviews? This one is called Claire 3. They do have another Claire. I'm guessing they have Claire 1 and Claire 2. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked. But. And he picked these out, I should tell you. I didn't even know he was buying me sandals. I didn't know. I had just mentioned. Well, he knew, too, that I had Birkenstock sandals. And I do love those. Um, but I had worn them for three summers. And they had finally wore out. They were trashed so i had to throw them away so he knew i didn't have any sandals for this upcoming summer and so he bought me these he picked out the styles he didn't ask me what i liked until afterwards <laughs> um he picked out everything all and, by himself and another thing that bothered me with the birkenstock sandals and the thing that i love about bed stew the most is they are all leather yeah, for those of you that don't have Birkenstocks or have you never have some seen on them, your feet right now. Uh, yeah, and I don't like them. Um, <laughs> the The soles are cork, and the cork just breaks down so because so it's fast exposed. Because it's exposed, there's nothing. Protecting. And cork is very healthy for your feet, so don't get us wrong on that. It is good for your feet. It is a natural resource, but on the Birkenstocks, you do have to take care of them. You have to put the cork sealant around, and I did that, but even still, where it bends all the time as you're walking, it will crack. It will fall apart, and, you know, leather is also a natural thing, but I'm, you know, it's going to get sweaty. Like, there's going to be negatives with but anything. But you've got a better, you've got a better longevity with 
Well, a we'll good see. Piece of leather. We'll see. I'm gonna tell you what. With the way this other stuff's handled out, you, I ain't gonna buy you another sandal for a long time. <laughs> so this is the Claire, and this is like a gladiator style. And this is one of the styles I did not like when I saw the pictures. <laughs> yeah, of these I made sandals. a mistake on that one. But when, because I never liked gladiator stuff, it just to me it covered too much of your foot. But when they got here and I actually put them on, they look really nice on, and they're so comfortable. It feels like there's just this. Nice soft glove wrapped around your foot. It's wonderful. See, I made the mistake. I made a mistake. I ordered this stuff, these two sandals. And then we were looking at one of the Bed Stew emails. And if you guys haven't signed up for the Bed Stew emails, go to their website, sign up for that because they send you some awesome deals. And when new stuff comes out, they notify you immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, they do the same thing there. But I was thumbing through the you know bed stew thing when i got the email for the new product and i was looking at stuff and thinking and i'm like hey you know what do you think of these what do you think of these so on and so forth we're some we're thumbing through this oh i don't like those i don't like those oh i don't like those at all nope i don't like those and that that's just about everything i it just got was something she didn't like no, the so. ones that the teal ones i did always like that style but i was unsure because the soles are th so thick and they don't flex or bend with your foot so i thought maybe it'd be difficult to walk and actually that is not the case it's very easy to walk but these are one of the ones i did not like based on the pictures because they just thought they covered up so much of your foot it wasn't even like a sandal but on in person they look so good and well, i'm actually I I made a boot no i'm things. glad he got them so these are the ones we had to exchange the size um he had bought a nine in both of them because my boots were a nine and that worked out for the ones I just showed you, the nine is fine, but for these, the nine was too big, so we had to send them back and get an eight and a half. So it's just hit and miss with the sizes. You're just gonna have to like figure it out as you go along. And the, and talking about being handmade and stuff, the nines that you had before we sent the before we got these, one of them when you put the shoe side by side, one shoe was what maybe three sixteenths of an inch longer than I the other know. one. I don't know. I don't know if it was the shoe or my feet. Or was it your foot? Yeah, I think it was my feet. Okay, well, <laughs> she's got some oddball feet, so she's got one foot shorter than the other. but Or something. It When she had them on, it made it look like it gave yeah. the impression that the shoe was about 3 sixteenths of an inch longer. But I never did get a tape measure out and measure it we should to measure see if feet. it was... I don't know. You can measure them things yourself. Well, okay, so this has a lot of intricate weaving here. I mean... It probably took forever to put this together. A zipper in the back so you put it on. You don't have to undo the buckles every time, which is really nice. The inside uh, footbed, footbed is all leather. Shut up. <laughs> Just like the other ones. And you know, I noticed, looking at the bottom, that the bottom is even leather. With the exception of this little heel piece here with the tread on it. Yeah, this but those is, aren't. No, the is. other ones would. But this is all leather on this shoe. Like a and moccasin. these are Goodyear welted as well these sandals so this sole could be replaced on these sandals and the top can last you forever which is really nice so yeah that's these and you'll have to wait till summer to get a full review and, on either one of these on the on the note of being Goodyear welded and being able to be restored I believe bed stew has a uh, they have a revive revive program, program now where you wear out your shoes and you can send them back to them and for some sort of fee they will completely revamp your shoes for you which is really cool so also when you buy a pair of shoes from them it always comes with this little sample packet of leather conditioning cream and this stuff works really nice it makes everything look great and i've even used this on some of my handbags so yeah it just this little sample thing every pair of shoes comes with it so yeah we're very excited I am very excited for summer to come so that I can try these out and be posting some pictures on the Instagram with outfits and showing you how to style them and I'll give you a review how they're holding up because I'm not easy on stuff. So if you want to know how something holds up, believe me when I tell you because <laughs> I don't baby these things. So. And I'm sorry, ladies, I don't have anything from their men's collection to be able to review yet. So if you're looking to get your husband something from them, by all means, from everything that I've seen, go for it. You're not going to be disappointed. Like I said, I got to see my boy's wallet for just a brief few I seconds. I didn't get to see it because I wasn't home it, before he sent home. it out. <laughs> but, I mean, from the looks of everything else, I wouldn't second guess it. 
I just personally haven't got to get anything yet. I've been working with this. Making and sure. he's last <laughs> to buy something for himself. He's always thinking of me first. Of course, my, so sweet. my wallet is getting to the point to where it's... Looks terrible. It's about ready to... It looks really bad. But it's just it's just the point. I, I just can't get rid of something. i got to have it. But I don't know. Wait, I'd like to get a wallet, but we'll see what happens. Penny's trying to say hello. Uh, Hi, Penny. Go on. <laughs> get down. You're not supposed to so, be on the couch. Anything else? Leave us a comment, guys. Hit that thumbs up. Let us know what you want to see, what you want to hear, what you want us to review. If you have any questions about these shoes or anything like that, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Hi, Penny. I see you. Penny got introduced in the last video. Oh, really? So now she's like, hey, Mom, can I please be a part of this video? Let's see. Oh. Turn you around. There's Penny. Okay, so I don't have anything else. I think I've said everything I need to say. All right. Well, I'm glad to be back. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everybody.